Hello everyone, it's me Ivan, and your boy. Today I'll show you how to make part 10 of Super Mario. But before we start, save your project as a new copy and name it episode 10. Okay, let's start. First, today we're going to add mystery blocks so we can bump them. Now if we bump them, it doesn't do anything, as you see here. So... Let's get started. So, first is there's a resetting bug. If you reset a level, uh, you the enemies won't be clear. So let's do it. Let's do let's let's fix that. In the editor sprite, under whenever you generate levels, there's only a delete all of tile grid. Add tomb, but under under it, put delete. Also, put delete all of object IDX and object type. So let's get to this today's tutorial. Now in the Mario sprite, let's make a new variable named bump index for all sprites. And then, and then, go f find the when I re when I receive move player. And at the very top, set bump index to the empty value. <coughs> and now, locate the define move sprite y. So now let's make a new custom block. Let's name it bump head. Run without screen refresh. And put the bump head bump head block in the else if so if speed y is less than zero. Under the define bump head, let's start coding it up. So under define bump head, put a get tile at x y. And in the x put the x variable in the y, put y plus y plus height plus 8 like that and then under it check if tile equals 20 that's a mystery block then we set bumped index to tile index like that <coughs> now we can test a bit I shouldn't just hide that variable here let's test now if we see our clean fact is empty if we if we just go bump on a mystery block here if Bump index flashes a flashes a value. It'll flash the tile which tile it is on, so it's always different. And if we go here, it says different values. Good. Now go into the tile sprite. Find the when I receive position tiles, and at the bottom, the if else tile less than two in the else. And in the else like that if put the if 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 t tile equals tile bump tile index. Actually if bump index equals tile index. Then we replace Replace 
tile index tile index from of grid with with not which is the golden block block now if we see we just here we bump uh, our head on a mystery block and it turns you to a regular gold block nice now if we try that somewhere else it should perfectly work the same good Now if we collect the green flag, every seed should turn back into the regular mystery block. So let's continue coding. Now let's actually make like an effect so like if we bump it, the blocks goes up. And it's still in the tile sprite. Like right before we switch costume to, to tile variable, put an if and check if. And let's make a new variable. Bumped. For this sprite only and we set bumped but before anything in the if bump index equals tile index right after the replace item put a set bump to 180 and then check if bumped is greater than zero in the if and then we change bump by negative 30 and change change y by 24 times sign of bumped like that and put that in the change y by now if we see if we bumped a block bump head the block gives a little effect like a bumping effect and turns into a gold block nice Good. Now we can confirm every everywhere we bumped to this. We bumped a, a mystery block. It always get get a big good shake and this and finally turns back into normal. Good. Let's continue coding. Then in the Mario Sprite. Find the define make skid smoke. I'm just gonna change it to make skid smoke, not make skip snow smoke. Done. And take out the create clone particles. And let's make a new list named particles for all sprites. And we add, we first add smoke two particles in the if and then we add x two particles and add y two particles like that good now if we see we skid if we like skid the smoke if we slide it adds it adds the x and y position and to name into into the into the this okay, okay. now let's go into the particle spread and under the one green flag click put a delete all of particles and down under when i receive position tile let's make a new custom block named tick smoke from without screen refresh is that put the everything that's under the if frame is equal to empty value into a tick smoke six skid smoke tick smoke and then under the tick smoke put up let's make a new custom block named spawn particles And run without screen. And put the small plus particles block inside the frame equals empty value. Now, that uh, I'm just gonna hide particles variable. All the non use. And under small particles, put a repeat until. 
Repeat until length of particles equals zero. And first set type type set t t wait. Oh we had to let's make a new variable and type for this part only. And set type to item one of particles and then set x to item two of particles and set y to item three of particles and then create a of myself and then repeat and then repeat three delete one of particles not delete one Exactly. Now we, let's also remove the under when the circle to set X and Y. That. Now if we see if we if we 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 will see the type the type equals smoke smoke particles type and here we see and if you and if you oh in the Mario's part I forgot to, to make skit smoke the Y have to be minus 20 so yeah go into back into the Mario's part and do that and click back into the particles part and that's I'll try again now if you slip like a skid you get the particles appearing on Mario's feet. I'm just going to go to a higher place to test this small platform up here. Yep, it's working great. Good. Let's continue coding. Now in the tile spread, under in the if bump index equals tile index, put an add Coin. Oops. Add coin to particles, and then we add tile x to particles, and add tile y to particles. Like that. And back in the particles spread. And also before and see in the. In the costumes tab, in the tiles bar, drag the. I'm just gonna find it. The animation animating coin costumes and drag it in the particle spray. The four costumes, and also drag the big costume, like that. Go to code and let's start coding the particles up. And now, in the particle spray, under the one that's drag the code, put an if condition and check. If 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 type type equals the, equals coin, and then let's make a new variable named speed y for this part only, and we set speed y to twelve like that. Just gonna hide now. Let's actually let the coin do. Before the tick smoke under the when I receive position tiles, put an if condition and check if type equals coin. And let's make a new custom block named tick coin. Run without screen refresh. And in the if put the tick coin bl block and put a stop to script. And under the tick coin, under the tick coin put a change speed change speed y by negative one and check if speed y is less than one
speed y is less than one then we delete these clones and and then at the at last put a change y by speed y like that but not less than speed y ne less than one put negative 12 instead because it might be more better now if we test yep i got no 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 movement because we didn't code anything up yet now let's make a new custom block named position position with costing and an input of an input of costing and run without screen refresh and put everything that's fallen go to x y and show and then it will take smoke Extend the change frame by 0 0.4 into the position co costume and put a position costume instead and put the value floor frame instead and take the costumes and on top put a switch at the before and you see switch costume to big like that. everything is still working good is that under the take coin Put a position with a costume and a change and a change frame by 0 0.5. Uh, position with costume. Then we can put a plus operator in the position with costume block. The three, I'm just gonna check. Yep, it's a third costume, three costume plus a mod of four, a floor of frame. Like that. And put it in together. Three plus four flame. Now we had bumped this block. You should see the coin flipping. It's looking so good. Now the enemy sprite. Let's make a new block named set tape type with input of type oops. Type and the label of costume and the input of costume and the label of width and the input of width and the label of height and the input of height and run with that screen refresh now let's up and and this find the defined spawn type and inside if put drag everything into the new custom block and replace that with our original the block the block that we used for so just copy and paste in puts and and also move the set x the like the set axis and the y y's under the set height in the new custom block and also we re, we can remove the set type and hide to empty value like that Good, everything should be working the same. Yep, enemy spawning, collecting coins, mystery box plenty, but bumping and losing life. Yep, everything's working perfect. And now, let's check for a new type of items, and that's costume 30, the life power. And duplicate if check under spawn type and check if type equals 30 then and put the life as a type and also put the life as costing and for width 16 and the height 16 like that and put a set frame to negative one before the set type like that and the set type like for the show Surround that in the if and check editor is greater than zero or frame is equal to the empty value. Like that. Good. Let's let's continue adding them. Mushroom type power up. And also, I think next we will be locating the. What is 
Yep, the move and now click the green flag and pre put, press 9 two times. And we can place. Oops, I'm placing the wrong costume. I'm just. Oh, yeah, I forgot. In the, in the set type, we have to replace all the inputs with the. With the. With our already input. So, yeah. So put width for width, height for height, type for type, costume for costume, good. Now we press zero and, and press two, nine two times. Yep, that's a, that's a motion power up, type power up. And we can configure that there's no motion type power up in others. And you can place it anywhere. In fact, it's like, so, just gonna hide these. Good. And we can continue working on our enemies. Or other items. Stop letting the coin spawn when, when there's a mushroom inside, as you see here. So that would be pretty simple. But just get started and do that. In the tile spot, and then when I receive position tiles, yeah. Put it if or surrender the add blocks, the three add blocks. And check if item hash hash of tile grid item hash tile index of tile grid equals zero. Then we do that. Then we test that we oops not tile index. Not in tile grid object idx I meant. So now if we hit button the, the the mushroom block the the coin the the one with the mushroom it it doesn't pop out the coin so now we can start triggering the mushroom as soon as this occurs and also I'm just gonna make sure good. So now, let's continue. Enemy sprite. <laughs> Under the, the, the one I receive, move enemy, is the if frame with less than zero. Check if frame, the first if, check if frame equals one, negative one, frame. And then another check if, if, if tile index equals spawn index, and then we show like that. Good. I mean, our bump index instead of tile index. Just can't miss, get miss, mixing up with the tile and the indexes. Now, if we see if we bump. Head bump the mystery block with the mushroom, the mushroom appears. Now we should see other mystery blocks. So I'm just gonna place mushrooms over here. Yep, it's working well. Just gonna test. Oh, this bug. But I'm not gonna catch this in this episode. Uh, I'm just gonna end the enemy spray. Just gonna remove these two mushrooms. Good, let's continue now. And now in the enemy spray, also put a stop to script. Stop the script under the if. Good. Now remove that show and put, instead put a set frame to zero as a point in direction. Dir direction 
of Mario. Just gonna do that. And then go to back layer. And let's and then go forward. And let's make a new variable thing the layers background. Make it for all sprites and put layers. Where's my layers background? Wait, did I make it? I'm just gonna reload the page. Hold on. Yep, my two. I'm gonna delete, and I'm gonna go to enemy sprite. Good. Now let's continue in the enemy sprite. Put the layers background and as a variable in the input. Now. Let's continue on. Then, in the, under the move enemy, when I receive message, duplicate if type equals Goomba. And check if type equals a life. And remove the tick Goomba. And let's make a new custom block thing. Tick life. Run without screen refresh. And put the tick life block here followed by stop the script. Under take life put a show block for simples. Now just bump head to block. You're gonna see when we bump head it the mushroom will show for one frame. Good. But now let's make so that mushroom actually like pops up pops up from the from the mystery block. And from behind, let's be. Then before the show, put a change frame by one. And then before the show again, put an if and check if. Let's go to if frame is less than frame is less than sixteen. Then we stop the script and and to, and for the bottom. Just put if check if put an if else and check if frame is less than forty eight and and put it to show in the if condition. Like, then we simply change y by one and and the else put if touching Mario then simply delete these clone like that. Now if we had bumped that block, the mushroom appears rise up, and we can collect it. Good. And now we can, now we can put mushrooms in all sorts of blocks. And I was not gonna. Oops, we're just gonna replace it. Like that. I'm also gonna replace it. With me. So now it's good. And it's working good. Great. I'm just also gonna put a life mushroom over there. And at the end, I'm also gonna put one here. And also, I'm gonna put more mystery box everywhere. And you can just. I know this is another bug, but we'll be fixing it in the end, next episode. But. I'm just gonna put mystery blocks more often. Put one here. And this is working great. I might as well do a test a bit to small testing area. Like that. Now if we see you can just 
Also, I'm gonna put some mystery box here so we can. Yep, it's working. And good. Let's add the last thing so we can. If we like bump an enemy, like on a mystery block, I'm just gonna put one on here. Like it, it flips or dies. Now let's make a new custom block named. Ch oh, let's make a new custom block named Check Flip for the and run without screen refresh. Under the Check Flip block, put it if bump it decks is less than one. And stop the script. We said I'm just stop the script and then we're gonna get tile at X Y. And for the uh, y, for the x, put x minus width like that. And for the y, put I'm just gonna get. And for the y, put y minus uh height and. Send another minus y minus height minus eight like that, and then we check if not tile index equals bump index. It's gonna do tile is tile. I'll put the bump index and put tile index is equal is not tile index equals bump index. Then, then let's check again for the right foot. But instead of plus, well x plus x minus width, put x plus width. And again in this stop. And again, let's do. And in, in if let's put stop the script, and under let's do the flipping action. And at the very bottom, put set speed x, I mean speed y to forty, and set speed x to di direction back direction of Mario. Just direction. Direction of Mario divided by 45. Let's see this in action. Well, but before anything, find the define take a bed at the very bottom, put the check flip block like that. That's ready to test. I'm just gonna. Yep, look at that. And we can test it even farther. And also, I'll check if I can hit more than one good but Yes. Can it's so fun. Good now actually let's dis dis destroy the Goomba when it's on it. Yep, it just flipped three. So let's do that. Now in the check flip under it put a under it put a set rotation style actually set type to float and then set rotation style to all around and point in direction negative 90 like that and now under the define under when I receive move player just before the if type equals switch put an if condition and check if type equals flip flip if then change x by speed x and then we change speed y by negative one. And then change y by speed y. And finally put an if checking if y is less than camera less than camera y minus two hundred. And then delete these code and stop the script. Like that. 
and put it in the tiny little squish. It's time to test. Now if we see we flip an enemy, it gets disappeared. Then we can just we'll shrink up triple second. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna make it's so fun watching the like the gumba fall down to the bottom of the screen. I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna for a test series, I'm just gonna make a gumba place. Place some gumbas there. Just gotta do some sequel. That's so cool. It's actually really cool watching the gumba gumbas fall for fell. Fall from a high place. Well, this is another end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed, please smash the like button and subscribe to be more more of teaching videos. The next episode, we're going to be covering the. Background and uh, death. Mario's death. Alice, bye. Bye. See you next time.